All right, we had another WWE pay-per-view tonight. And in fact, we have another one on September 27th, which is the confirmed date. I know on the pay-per-view they said it was September 20th, but... Okay, so the deal, the deal there was originally the date was September the 20th, and I don't know when they changed it to the 27th, but it was weeks ago, because they gave me a schedule for the rest... I got all the dates for the rest of the year in the Observer a couple weeks ago, and it was already September 27th then. But I guess that they... Yeah, they played two commercials in a row. One had it September 20th and the other 27th. It was a mistake. It was the original commercial uh, date, but but it had been changed at least a couple of weeks ago, um, maybe even longer. But I know a couple of weeks ago it had already been changed. So, um, But, yeah, I remember I had on my calendar, I originally had the September 20th date. And, um, and then uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, because I was uh, trying to get all the dates for... Um, yeah, just the dates for the rest of the year of the pay-per-view, and, and it was the 27th by then, so yeah. Well, what did you think of the show? I thought the booking was good. I thought um, the show was, was fast-paced. It flowed well. There were no great matches, but, um, you know, there were no really shitty matches either. Um, most of the results were pr pretty predictable, but still done in a clever way, I guess. I mean, the only upset was the, you know, Keith Lee quick win over Orton. And I, I thought that result just made sense. Um, I think that the one thing is, is that um, I don't think anyone, you know, to me, as soon as I saw that result, it's like, oh, freaking Orton's winning the title from Drew McIntyre after all. That's that was my, you know, I don't know that. That's but that was the immediate thing that I, that conclusion I came to. And then they're setting up for Orton Keith Lee t title matches as well. So if Orton's going to win the title, him losing to Keith Lee was kind of. Um, I don't say no-brainer because that, you know, it's WWE. They easily could have not done it, but they did it. And um, it wasn't a great match at all. You know, six minutes and just a pin out of nowhere. But just him winning is, from a storyline standpoint, everything like that, and a star creating standpoint, it was a, a good move. Um, you know, I mean, it again, like, I I enjoyed it. I was glad it was... Not a long show. I think if it was a long show, it wouldn't be that great. And, you know, we got uh, Roman Reigns won the Universal title, which, you know, he had to. Everyone knew everyone knew it. And it wasn't even um, the way it was done. I mean, geez, you wrote about it before it ever happened. It was kind of predictable, um, just the way the whole thing was being built up. Um, very, I don't know that it was a Paul Heyman laid out match, but... I mean, from the opening moment, I go, this is a freaking Paul Heyman match. And then that, that thing where he runs in at the end was, you know, the Brock Lesnar money in the bank thing all over again. So, again, it's his guy's fingerprints. That doesn't mean it's him, but it um, wouldn't surprise him. In fact, I would expect it. I, I would expect strongly that it was. Um, you know, Sh uh, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax won. I really like that finish, you know, as far as the double submission deal. Um, that was pretty clever. And then, you know, the rest, it was a it was a show. We have Braun, Bray, and Roman. So they hit Bray's music. It's kind of like a five-minute entrance. And he finally gets to the ring, and Braun Strowman just attacks him. And they ring the bell. And for like three minutes, there is not a mention of where's Roman Reigns. The announcers are just calling it like it's a one-on-one -on -one match. And they're wrestling, and they're beating each other up, and they show... Alexa backstage. I mean, she's practically facing away from the television, looking at it. And they go back to her a couple of times. Well, I mean, the, the deal with Alexa is, is that she's got, like, two braids, Bray Wyatt braids in her hair. She had one on Friday. So she's, like, going to, like, have a new one every every week until she's, like, full Bray Wyatt. So we, full fiend, fiend, I should say. We have the big mallet from the Hell in a Cell. They beat on each other with stuff. They fight up by the ramp. Fight on back down again. Braun spears him through the stage. And finally, The Fiend hits a big superplex on Braun. And the ring breaks like that famous shot on SmackDown with the Big Show. And I think it was Big Show and Kane. But anyway. And they did Big Show and, um, and uh, Braun Strowman did it too, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The, ring is, the ring explodes. Did you see the Charles Robinson bump? Yeah, he did exactly like the bump the first time the ring broke, but way that back in the so day. That was so freaking incredible watching that bump. That was like the highlight of the whole match. So he goes flying into the air, he's out of there, and then Roman Reigns' music hits. And he comes out with Paul, 
He signs the contract. He's got a chair in his hand. He starts heading down to the ring, and for some reason he puts the chair down, and he flies in to make a cover. But there's no ref. And so he goes back out, he gets the chair, and he starts, first he beats the hell out of Braun Strowman, tries to cover him, Braun kicks out. So then he goes to get the Fiend, but the Fiend puts the claw on Roman. Roman boots him in the balls, and then Roman spears Braun Strowman, pins him, and he is the new champion. And that's how the show went off the air. Yeah, well, that was... They actually said, the era of Roman is here. They said something like that. Like, Roman Reigns' time has come or something. Yeah. Like, I've been watching this guy on top for six years. What are you talking about? This guy's been on top longer than Hulk Hogan had the title for the first time in the 80s. Well, the whole deal is is that, like, now they're going to try to make it work. I mean, it's not like they didn't try to make it work before, but now it's a new chance to make it work now that he's a heel and he's with with Heyman. So it's like a new run um, instead of the babyface run. Well, there you go, everybody. Roman Reigns is a heel. I think everybody's a heel, actually, the last time I checked. Might be a babyface or two, but we'll see how they follow this up on Raw tomorrow because we've got another pay-per-view coming up on the 27th. Oh, it's not until September 27th. we got a couple. We got, we got, we got a ways to go now. I mean, no, no rush. You know, normal uh, four-week uh, thing, right? Yeah, four weeks. So that's cool. I, I don't really like this one, you know, week after week. I think that, <laughs> You don't say? I think that the, the interest level in this pay-per-view was, uh, I'll find, you know, we'll know tomorrow, but my gut is the interest level in this pay-per-view was, was very low, even though it was a good pay-per-view. Um, you know, and the matches were, the matches were fine. I mean, it's like, you know, there was nothing, nothing sucked, you know, really, so... Uh, for a W and 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 no sucky finishes. I mean, it's like we didn't get any. We didn't. This no referee bumps. Well, we did in the in the last match. We did get a referee bump. We went flying over the top, but but for the most part, no referee bumps. And and God knows I've seen too many of those now. And um, you know, no bad DQs and all that. So maybe they turned over a new leaf. But I know that I know better as far as that goes. We'll be we'll be catching up on our DQs and on TV in the next couple of weeks. I got a feeling.